Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I'm going to show you how to ship a picture frame with glass. Now, in this video I'm shipping a painting, but uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter what you're shipping. So you could ship a painting or a picture or frame. Whatever you want, really. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, the first part of this video, I'm just we're just prepping the box. So... Uh, my wife is, you'll see my hands and my wife's hands, and I actually shot this from my uh, light in my dining room, so my little ceiling light or chandelier or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, so we're just closing up the box, and I shipped this painting through USPS Priority Mail, just as a heads up, but to, to ship the painting, it's actually fairly easy, and the process is pretty much the same even if it's a larger one now, obviously if it's a smaller one you have less of a chance of the glass breaking but uh, I would still package it about the same uh, up to a reasonable size so now that we've got our box set up I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put painters tape over the glass now the reason I'm doing this is that if the glass breaks the painters tape will help it stay intact so it doesn't like break all over the place right so if it shatters there's not going to be glass everywhere well less likely you know it's not going to stop it completely and the reason we're using painters tape is simply because if uh you know once they get this painting we don't want to use some kind of super heavy duty paint or tape that they can't get off so we don't want something that's going to stay on the glass or leave residue right we want to be professional and we want it to come off clean so here i'm just signing my certificate of authenticity if you create original works or even prints um, i would recommend doing that uh, making those now the next thing i'm going to do is wrap this in plastic wrap now this isn't necessary 100 this isn't 100 necessary but the reason i'm doing it is a couple of reasons one it just gives it a little extra layering on the product so it you know it puts that one extra barrier between it and everything else um, it also keeps it flat so you know you don't have you know you don't have things pushing right up against it so that's why I'm doing it another reason is simply because it's going to help keep moisture out so if this box gets wet, you know, heaven forbid, and water gets into the box or maybe, you know, maybe it gets ripped or, you know, a, a hole put into it or something, right? It's going to help seal out moisture. Now, it's not going to keep it obviously waterproof, but it will help. So once you've got your plastic wrap on there, then you wrap it in a uh, small bubble wrap and we're going to do it. A couple of times with with the bubble wrap um, we're gonna I think I think we did two layers on this now I want to give you a quick note real quick going back to the plastic wrap if your original artwork is um, canvas or you're touching the actual artwork itself so it's not in a frame you would use uh, archival paper or glass on but here since there's glass and and cardboard you know we didn't need to do that so anyway let's go back to it so we wrapped uh, this frame in bubble wrap small bubble wrap with the bubbles facing outward so that's kind of important so that it doesn't leave indents on the painting uh, then we wrapped it three times I believe uh, two or three times each and then taped it so once we had our two layers of bubble wrap, and you can see my wife being, being her silly self, uh, we taped it down just to get, you know, to kind of tuck it in and protect the corners, the sides. And then once we had our tape in place with our tight little corners, then we're going to move on to the next step. So we'll just flip this around here. We'll uh, tuck this down. And I am paranoid when I ship, so I like to overdo it a little bit. 
which I'd rather they get it, you know, not broken than under wrap it and something happens to it, right? So that's just me. I'm kind of paranoid when I ship, but I, I just want everything to work out properly. Now here I'm just going to show you the gap um, in the painting. And this is why we use thin bubble wrap and then thick bubble wrap. Now I guess if you didn't really have a gap, you wouldn't necessarily need the second layer of bubble wrap. So if, you're, if your package is already pretty, pretty thick and you don't need to fill the extra room, then you could just fill it with a little bit extra small bubble wrap. But if there's a gap around it, then I would say go ahead and switch to large bubble wrap. And that's what I'm doing here. You know, again, it just gives it another layer of added protection. And I mean, it seems a little excessive and it probably is. But again, I just don't, I don't want it to break. And so giving it these, these two little layers kind of, um, you know, it just gives it that much more added kind of peace of mind, at least for me. So once we've got it uh, wrapped in our larger bubble wrap, and we've got those edges taped down again, you know, you want them taped down, but kind of tucked under so that it, it creates another barrier uh, for that painting. I like to kind of make a pillow almost out of bubble wrap uh, when I wrap these paintings just because again I just you know I don't want anything to happen to them so now you can see that now that when we put it in there it, it bows it out a little bit but just a little bit but it's still fine it's I mean it's not bulging a lot and it's good enough to be able to uh, to close and the only reason I'm going over it one more time uh, was just for the uh, just because there was a tiny, tiny gap, so I'm not even gonna, not even gonna tape it on there because there's no point. I mean, it's it's pretty well wrapped. So at this point, we're just closing it up. Um, now, the USPS priority box comes with little adhesive tabs, uh, but I, again, I just don't, I don't like to leave anything to chance. So even though I had these little sticky tabs, I still kind of ripped them off, cut them off. Uh, or, I mean, I, I, I took the adhesives off and put them on there and then taped up the box because, again, <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to say, you don't have to tape up your boxes, but, again, you're, you're just you're keeping out moisture by doing it, and you're also reinforcing those tabs so that they don't come open. I mean, I've seen boxes that were partly open because either maybe the glue tore off or maybe someone tried to get into it. I don't even know. But I've seen that, and I just didn't want it to happen to me. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot else. We just tape it up, and then it's pretty much good to go. So if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, then please like, rate, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video.